what's up everybody welcome to another episode of cart smart tv got a customer that brought us a club car 97 model 48 volt and it just won't run and so i was going through some stuff and and um, got to the motor and i was going to test the motor and so it's going to be a revamp video for you guys on how to test it while it's in the golf cart jacked up and possibly in your backyard so stay tuned with us and we're going to show you how to get this done while it's in the golf cart guys all right guys so when you're going to test your motor you're going to get you out your voltmeter like this you're going to put it on your continuity setting and then you want to touch your leads together just to make sure that it is operating right should hear that and that's that means you're going to get continuity if you're in the right spot all right, so we're going to test this motor, see how, see if it's good or not. We're going to do it with a voltmeter. See, I got my probes here. We're going to start out on the armature side. That's what your A's stand for, is armature side. So when you do one lead to the A2, one lead to the A1, you should be getting that beep on your voltmeter, okay? So the S's stand for your magnetic field inside the motor. Do the same test with the voltmeter on those as well, on your S's. You should be getting the noise from your voltmeter. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go from the armature to the magnetic field and see what that test is. Alright, we've got nothing there. That's the way that's supposed to be. You should not hear a thing. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is jump to the armature, to the outside casing of the motor to make sure we don't have a dead short. Doesn't matter which lug you touch. Just scrape you a good spot, make sure you're getting good connection, no noise. That's a good thing. And so we're going to do the same thing with the S's. You go from your S to the barrel or the, the body of your motor and you should not get anything. Uh-oh. That sounds like we've got a short. We should not be getting any noise whatsoever, but we are. So now, guys, to, to definitely make sure that it's, it's a short, you can go from S2 with a wire to A1 with a wire, and then you're going to put a 12-volt source from the S1 to the S2. If it's a good motor, it should turn the wheels over. But right now, we know that that's not going to happen, so we're going to take this out, take it apart, and find out what's wrong with it. We'll get back with you when we uh, get this thing opened up. Okay, guys, so we got this motor off. It was a, a bit of a fight, but we got it. And we have found that during the testing that you're going to see us do in our video, the magnetic side the magnetic field side you'll see us put a probe on on one of the lugs here and then go to the case of the motor and it makes a noise the meter starts beeping and so we got it to where we pulled the motor off tore it open and you can see here at all this black crap build up Everybody's going to say, oh, that's brush dust, that's brush dust. No, no, not in this case it's not, because look at how burn up the wires are in the magnetic field. And then, of course, it's got little pieces falling out from inside of it. And up inside of here, you can see those white edges. Well, that's all the, that's all the uh, protective... The protective pieces that they lay in behind the magnets and it is just absolutely melted you can sort of see that white strip right through there that's not supposed to be that way and again there's more pieces of the motor laying inside of here so this this motor got completely fried not really sure what took place to do that to this motor um, but at the end of the day, this is going to be a motor replacement job. Whatever's going on with this motor was just a normal failure. 
after years and years because this is the original motor that came on the golf cart it is a 97 so it's it's seen it's it's better days of use all right guys hopefully that'll help you out on getting the motor tested don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button share these videos as always thank you for watching